Hey, well, you know, I wanted your thoughts on a couple of these smaller companies as well. A lot of companies raising funds, so we'll get to that. We have a quick chat lined up with Capacity Infra, the first management on the show today. The stock hit a fresh 52-week high on Friday after the company successfully concluded their 200 crore QIP. They plan to use the proceeds to fund their working capital requirements. To discuss more on this, Subir Malhotra, who is the Executive Director and Chief Financial Officer of Capacity Infra, is with us. Subir, thanks a lot for joining in. If you can start by telling us about the fundraising, what do you plan to use this money for? Will any of it go into retiring debt or is it largely for expansion purposes? And what is the kind of interest that you saw in the QIP? So good morning and thank you for getting me on the show. Yes, so we've had another uh, successful round with the QIP. It's a kind of a deja vu with what happened with the IPO actually. And uh, we closed the uh, QIP on Thursday. Uh, it was very successful. We were oversubscribed at least four times on the IPO. And um, the main purpose of the IPO is definitely the growth in the market that we foresee. There's a very strong momentum that we see in the business and uh, we strongly want to tap onto that. Yes, but the basic reason of the QIP is growth and to okay. improve the execution of the website. Okay. All right. So, Beer, uh, then a couple of points if you could give us. Uh, I think earlier you were guiding for 18 to 20% growth uh, for, I think, the next couple of years and post that it's going to be mid-teens. So, tell us what kind of growth number are you looking at? And I think part of this money will be used to retire debt. I'm looking at your interest costs on a quarterly basis. It's around 20 to 25 crores. Does debt come down? Uh, does the interest cost come down as well on a quarterly basis, on a yearly basis, if you want to give us that number? I would really say that most of the money that is coming in from QIP is going to be used for growth. Most of it is going to be used to improve the execution of the projects at the moment that we already have in hand and to strongly bid and execute the strong bid pipeline that we have with us. That would, I say, be the main purpose of the money that we are collecting. And that is what we have gone to the markets for. That's a growth range then. I think uh, at the end of the first quarter, I recall the street was working with 18 to 20 percent revenue growth. And I think order inflow, you were guiding for around 2,200 crores. So give us an updated number. What's the revenue growth we should be looking at in the near term, 24, 25, 26? And also well, can you tell uh, us what's the order inflow looking like? The uh, order inflow for the air outlook was 2,000 crores. Uh, we've already clocked 1,750 this year. And we are very, very hopeful of, uh, you know, fulfilling the... Uh, outlook that we have given for the order inflow. As it is, uh, and what I just said in the past, because there is such a big bid pipeline over there, we had to come back and say that, yes, we need more working capital from this uh, uh, QIP. <laughs> Having said that, uh, the uh, numbers over there, H1 and H, uh, H1 has uh, uh, closed at close to 830, 40 crores. And yes, we are very sure of uh, getting it a good seat there at the end of this time. Okay. As uh, you can understand, we are in a little, we are in a little uh, blackout period, and so I'm kind of hesitant sure. to work with exactly. Sure. So you're saying by the end of the year, 2,000 crores is uh, the kind of incremental order book that you're hoping to clock in, right? By the end yes, of the year, 2,000 is what we want to do in this year, and we are very, very, okay. very positive. There are, okay, there are got no it. Ways and, that we would and what would this mean for your revenue trajectory? What will you do by the end of FI24? And what is the kind of growth outlook for 25? So we, I would broadly say that we want to get a CAGR of at least 25% in the next couple of years. And uh, given the fact that how the uh, first few quarters have moved of this year, I think we are very, very hopeful that it can very easily be maintained. Okay, 25% CAGR is what you hope to maintain. Got it. Thanks, Subir, for joining in. I appreciate your thoughts here. Uh, well, uh, that is the word. That's the word coming in from Capacity Infra.